let's take a further look at the advancements provided by one CNC XR7 and CAD. In fact, let's take a look at dimensions. So I'm going to head over to the main toolbar. We're going to select dimensions. The first thing I want to point out is the edit dimension command. Now, in previous versions of 1CNC, the Edit Dimension command was located in a submenu. Now, with XR7, the Edit Dimension command is located on this very first menu that pops up, so it makes it very accessible. Also new to XR7 is Dimension Style. This is very powerful. This allows you to select whatever dimension style that you'd like. What also makes this very powerful is that you can create all your detailing, all your dimensions and you can come back later choose a different dimension style and all your detailing and all your dimensions will update to that new dimension style so very very powerful to XR7 and that is the new dimension style now let's take a look at these typical types of dimensions that we're going to create in fact let's change our view to a top view I'm going to zoom out and pan over just a little bit and so I'm going to use horizontal as an example but when I demonstrate really is applicable to all these different types of dimensions let's go to horizontal I'm going to quickly left click and left click and let's just drag up a dimension right there and the first thing you're going to notice is a brand new dialog box now in its simplest format it looks just like this but you can also expand it but let's take a look at just this right now the idea here is that you can modify this dimension as you create it. In fact, if you're happy with the dimension, you can just click OK and be on your way. However, if you want to modify that dimension, you can easily do that now with XR7. The first thing you can do is add text to your dimension. So if I wanted to, I'm just going to type in the word sample as an example here, and we'll click OK to that, and there you go. You can see the text has been added to that. Let's take a look at this a little closer. I'm going to bring this back up. And what we're going to do now is notice that you can also put in your tolerance ranges. And so we could, for example, use plus minus. I might put in 10,000s for that, and we'll click OK. And there you go. There is the, the ranges being placed on that. Let's go back now. Let's use vertical for this. I'm going to click here and click here. Let's place that here. Now, let's say that this was a lathe print, and this happened to be a diameter. Well, notice now there's symbols that can be applied to the dimension. There's diametrical, radial, and degrees. I'm going to click on diametrical. I'll click OK to that, and there you go. You can see there's the diametrical symbol that's been added on there. Let's wrap this up by making one more dimension. Let's go back into horizontal. I'll bring this up here, place it right about there. If I expand this out, I want to point out that you have control over your style. That's the actual style of the text or detailing and dimensions. You also have control over the, the arrow type that you're selecting from. Also the dimension style, the options here for your decimals. You have control over your leader text and of course the font style as well. I'm going to go ahead and just click OK to that and away we go. So that is brand new to 1CNC XR7. The ability to really go in there and adjust your dimensions every time you create a new one. Very, very powerful for 1CNC XR7.